think so, not today. Unless you want to watch the end of the pog episode. No, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone that cares has already seen the video. Is it out? Uh, no, it's nah, not It's out. not out yet. Oh, I meant like just the interview. It's fucking awkward. Not the shit. interview. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, that, that was weird. That's fucking so- She was awkward on that in- are we just gonna? Are we gonna bring? We can bring this up straight away. We can just keep keep going. Yeah, like is it running already? Yeah. Oh, so it's guys, just fun. weird. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that straight off the bat. We won't go on to be will. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to yeah. me, the podcast where we always have one too many. Thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, all that. We need the pug. Yeah. Right. And Adam twenty two. Yeah. yeah. No jumper. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of I I hmm, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah. Like I think it's good because at the same time it opens up. That he obviously they obviously do porn together with girls, yeah, and her doing that. But you see it in so many interviews <coughs> in the past about him saying, "Oh no, that w- nah, it's a one way thing. Like we're not doing." But that. she agreed to that. She agreed to that, and and said so he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. no, they like she agreed to only smashing women. Yeah, with him. Yeah, like that's what she wanted to do. Mm. And now that they got married and stuff like that, recently, pretty recently, they um, they discussed that now that they're married yeah. and shit like that, she can open up that avenue and. Do that. Yeah. Which I think him being the first person, like they're both professionals yes. and they're all, all three of them are professionals, which makes it, I guess, just a Better. business transaction sort of thing. And that's, and that's what it always has been for the which, other side too. With, with the yeah, with, talk. with the other girls and stuff. Yeah, 100%. And I think that like you can only have that sort of relationship if you do that sort of stuff yeah. because like it's a different mindset. You know what I mean? Because I was talking with it. Do about do it, it with Jess on the way here. Should we do a backstory about people that probably don't know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fill them in. Let so them know. Adam Twenty Two is a podcaster slash kind of porn star now. He does like OnlyFans kind of stuff. Yeah, and he's married to the girl called Leanne the Plug, who is an OnlyFans only OnlyFans person. No, never really did porn. Only ever did uh, girl on girl on OnlyFans, and and with Adam, which is the husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a big thing about them not having a her have sex with a guy on camera because it was only Adam. And then they both agreed that now that they've been married, that she is going to be able to go shoot content with other males. And that's basically where we're at now. I just think it's and a great- now, and, um, they, and they just did that. I think it's a great, um, it's great promotion in the fact that like, now they can, there's a whole different type of porn that they can get into yeah. where that can make them more money and there's more clout in it. Yeah. And like, it's good for their brand and everything like that. Cause like everyone was obviously asking the question where, why wasn't she getting railed by dudes when he yeah. can rail? You know what I mean? It's fair. And like, I just think it's fair. Like she's, that's something she wanted him to do an experience yeah. and they both agreed to that. And now they're obviously doing this. Uh, and I think it's fair. I, I think he was saying like, it was, he, it's, it's fine. Well, how would you feel about it? it? If it was your girl and she was like, I want to get piped down with this big black dude with a 12 inch dick. Yeah. He apparently got a monster. Yeah. It's huge. Have you not seen I've it? I've never seen it. Oh, Harry, pull, pull that up. shit up. <laughs> Fuck. It's it. like, bro, like, <laughs> no, like he, he's got a fucking big really? dick, dude. Like it's huge. Cause I remember like, in the interview, they said that like, he, she was sore and they had sex and yeah. he said and he had like stop or something like that like, bro, after, like afterwards right like his dick is huge true bro, like, like he he's part of the black brand or black raw brand or whatever yeah, it is I know, it's like, I've never seen they're like before. um they're pretty big but like it's like all the black dudes on yeah. there like they got big fucking boys. massive dicks bro like and yeah like, i don't know i don't know i don't know. I'm, I'm i i'm a jealous type over, but over the years, yeah. I have been getting better where I don't really give a fuck anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good and bad. But I, I mean, if it, ugh, fuck, if I've, got, if I've got the money and I've been doing porn already, yeah, I think I think I'd be all right with it after that. I was gonna say like I, I don't think in this, right in now this, in their situation I'd be fine with it. If it was my girlfriend right now and how I am now and she wanted to do porn, I don't think I could do it. So you wouldn't be able to date a stripper or anything like that. <laughs> no, that didn't work out for me last time. So no. Nah. I didn't like. I had I had an ex who started who started shooting. I just could. I didn't like. Yeah, I true. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. So no, I I, I think now I'm, I'm alright with it, but like I just wouldn't. I saw, I'm not a massive fan. True. What about you, Harry? Uh, no, no. Uh, sh- like I get it. <clears throat> I don't think my ego could take it. Like what happens? Like yo, how was work, honey? Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, tiring. Yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. sore. Gotta go lie down. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like I don't what know. You? I think- you reckon you could? Yeah, I think I think it'll be fine, bro. Like I'm at that stage where like it just depends on where me and the girl were at in our relationship. I yeah. think like like I'm pretty fucking open minded about most things, bro. Like I don't really give a fuck about too much. And yeah. like I used to. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. Y- you know, like yeah. you were there. I used to, but now like I've realized I don't need to be, bro. And that's I think it's a maturity thing too. A hundred percent, bro. And I just think like you get to a certain point in your relationship, bro, where I think you're just comfortable with each other and you trust each other to the point where like 
you know that nothing would happen regardless. Yeah. And if she's making money out of it, bro, and it's funding you guys' so lifestyle much. together and so much all that money. shit. It's like girls doing OnlyFans and stuff. It's like, it's a picture of you yeah. floating around the internet. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, no dude's getting to touch you. No dude's getting to fuck you. Like, yeah. it's completely like different and it's relative to the person you're with, I guess. But like, in a strip club sense, bro, like she's just really just giving people dances for yeah. money. You know what I mean? I, like, it's all tra transactional. And I think, again, now I'd be better with it. Yeah. Like, I remember when I was a little bit younger, it was a no-go for of me. Of course, anyone that's it was just, younger. in my head, it's just like, I don't know, I'm very much like, I'm yours, you're mine. Like, it's very like, yeah. like, just us, you know? I don't, I don't like anything else to do. I like, just feel like when else, you're like, young, do it. I just feel like when you're young, though, like, you're not obviously one mature enough to yeah. do it. And it's like, obviously the big fucking thing when you're young, you're like, oh, I can't wait to fuck a stripper. Or I want to be with a stripper or whatever yeah. it is. But it, when, when it comes down to it, reality is like, can you really watch your girl yeah. go dance around dudes or think when you're that, at home laying in bed, like your that girls was the hardest the thing for me when I'm sitting there and watching her get ready. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, fuck, like, I just know what you're going to be. Then I'm in bed by myself, just sleeping. Yeah. I can't, you just can't do it. Yeah. yeah. And I know she's going to come home. She's going to come back into bed. And it's like, uh, but I think when you get older, I think when you get older, you start really like seeing things in a different perspective. You know, I like agree. You, you start, I agree. you know, like little shit that you would bother you when you're younger, it changes completely. Yeah. I, I agree. also think like doing people's, like you don't judge people's relationship through the lens of your relationship. No, nah. definitely not. Because they're both adult stars, basically. You also you also so think everyone you also thing. think everyone cares around you, but no one actually gives a fuck. No one cares, bro. Like, and that's a, that's a big thing about like immaturity as well. Can 100%. we see it, by the in, talking about immaturity? Show me this cock. You sure? <laughs> yep. You sure? I want to see the He's cock. He's hung, bro, like a horse. Oh wow. Yeah, I feel that's a big dick, bro. He just released a book too. Apparently, it's a pretty good book. Uh, like, uh, you can't straight see any of those, can you? Huh? No, you have to like um, approve. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, he um, <laughs> but it's mostly just yeah, it's just his scenes, just destroying people, basically. Yeah, he's um released a book. Oh, he's a fucking big boy, and it's about how um, what life he used to live before mm. he got into porn and everything like that, and it's like a big thing. He was like pretty deep into the streets and all that shit. Yeah. Like you don't have all those tattoos on your body and face and shit yeah. like that, and not be affiliated with anything. Does anyone care? Bro, I, I really don't think so. I think like- No, no. Well, do you care enough to read a porn star's book? Uh, no, really. Nah. I could give I'll, a fuck. I wouldn't read it. I'd listen to him talk about his life before. Yeah, I do, I think a, that's I do, a, more interesting. I do a podcast. Yeah. I think that's um, way more interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't read his bi biography about his life because that's How invested do you have to be into like addicted to jerking off and watching porn to l read someone's book? Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's I'm for not, like, I'm, mums, but, like- Also, most of the people that are watching porn or like are fans of these people- <laughs> Don't give a fuck about, yeah, no. you know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah, just you. really watching them to get their nut off, bro. They don't care what they're yeah, getting that's in, really in all their personal is. life or anything yeah. like that. Literally, like, it's just like you skip to your favorite scene you get your nut off and that's it. Yeah. You know, that's the only reason you would know these people. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's different. Like when like celebrities do books, like uh, like if it's a singer or like an artist or rapper, it's like someone that's like really changed your life. Like yeah, you spend yeah, hours yeah. with them. But porn is porn. Bro. I feel, like, porn, I feel like, a porn, like, like porn is like, you're really into it at that moment. And then as soon as you like, finish the day don't think about it you don't want to think about it you turn it you, you, you're disgusted and everything you don't want to do anything with it Yeah. so fuck I'm not reading a book before I go to bed about a porn star no but. I never understood I never understood like when um people read like you know those erotic fantasy books and stuff like that yeah, and they like loves it. really 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 gets into it and they're like oh yeah and then like oh, you, hear, you, you hear stories about like girls like genuinely getting wet and like sexualizing yeah, about it and like 100%. dudes having like wet dreams about it and shit like that you know what i mean like 100%. i don't i don't understand like your imagination would have to be out of this fucking my, my, world dude. my roommate like, loves them don't oh, get me wrong all power to those people pads? i don't know what that is so what pad is like it's basically a website where they have like fan fiction and different like, uh, short I, stories i don't okay. think so she and just loves the big books basically it's like what if a celebrity fucked you like loved you no nah, she's not like that she just likes <laughs> like Sex novels. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, fictional yeah, yeah, sex yeah. novels yeah. like where it's like pretty much like Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like reading that and jacking off, not watching the movie. I don't know. That's I've, crazy. Uh -huh. I had a friend. All right. I had, a, I had a friend and I shouldn't be saying this when I'm going to. She used to listen to a thing on YouTube and it was of a guy like telling a story or something like yeah. that. And she used to do like go it off of his voice. Yeah, see, that's, that's also nuts. But it's, but I mean, it's, it's like a, phone sex though. Yeah, but it wasn't like yeah. it wasn't saying anything sexual. It was like reading like a book or something like oh, that. Oh, true. It's just his, it was it's just like Morgan his Freeman's voice. voice. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. wild. That's nah. wild. It's like, like he was reading the book. Like it was a little bit sexual, but it wasn't yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No, yeah. that's weird. 
Have you guys had phone sex though? Like, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Was yeah. it, is it is it something that like does it for you? No, yeah, that didn't do True. it. True. Yeah, hundred percent. Don't do it for me. Eh? Yeah, right. I'm like, oh yeah, it feels so good. I'm like, they like just like playing flappy birds or something like that. Like, it was like when you're yeah. like, because <laughs> uh, my whole thing is my my really whole thing is like I'm all for the idea. I like the idea of it and everything like that. It's like intimate with your partner yeah. and shit. Like, I get it. But like my whole thing is I I'm like if I'm ja- like am I just jacking off here and she's not doing anything that's, like, that's, <laughs> you know what I mean I'm like, not gonna be the loser in this situation like, am I playing with myself and she's just sitting there just telling me what I want to hear like because oh, that's so you're a liar so yeah. you're talking to a liar yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. Uh, that that is just my insecurity about that whole thing like yeah. No, I, well, uh, but I guess that's why you have FaceTime now. I guess. Yeah, like usually it'd be Fa- like yeah, FaceTime's different. I would yeah. do some FaceTime type vibe. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It. And it's always like we could never. You know, when you're younger, you don't really have a car. You can't get around. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. I'm yeah. just going to make it work on a random Tuesday. See, I've never done it over FaceTime, bro. Like, but yeah, this was hot. before even FaceTime, you know? I was on the phone to girls bro. and shit like that. Skype Bef- back in the day. True, true. Vibes. MSN, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was to the send one. It, to send an email. <laughs> Literally, bro. Fuck me, dude. Wait, actually, speaking of like emails and shit, are we. You got, are you guys feeling like extra old lately? Yeah, 100%. Bro. Yeah, I feel old hanging around YouTube, bro, because like you know how to work computers and shit. Yeah. You know, fucking way behind on that. But that's different. Funny you brought that up, bro. I was at Optus like literally like two days ago and then um, Jess was getting a new phone. And I'm sitting with her and like he's he's asking her all these questions that mm. I don't know the answer to. And she's looking at me like, so she didn't know what the fuck was happening. And she's looking at me for answers. And I'm like, have to explain it to her. And then he's looking at her like she didn't know shit. <laughs> Even though she did, she was just like put on the spot, didn't yeah. know it. And then there's this old dude in the background, bro. Like old as fuck, dude. I think he's trying to get a new phone. He's on the phone to someone like tech services or whatever it is. He's literally having the hardest time understanding what the fuck they're saying. Cause they're like, oh, have you got this open on your phone? This on your phone? He's like, I don't know what that is. Like <laughs> starting to get real frustrated. And then he like gets like an Optus dude over and he's like, oh, can you, can you answer these questions for me? And he's That'd like so pulling out his like notes and paperwork and everything just to understand what they're saying and shit. And Jess literally looks over to me and she's like, that's you cunt when you're old. <laughs> and I literally, literally <laughs> sat there and I was like, that is so that's me. You when you're, that's you when we're like, hey, Aaron, can you post this Instagram? You're like, ah. Literally, bro. Like, I was like, dude, that is actually going to be me, bro. Like, and I kept, I'm like, oh no, bro. I'm going to be that old dude sitting in Optus trying to figure oh. out how a phone works. Like, Bro, that's the only reason I got, yeah, I got threads this week. I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, falling behind. Yeah. Bro, my dead, dead ass, my nephew was like, oh, cause you're like middle-aged. And uh, <laughs> I nearly yeah. beat the shit out of bro, him. And real. then I got home that night. I'm like, nah, fuck you. I'm going to know what's what. And for I, yeah, real, I got bro. it. Bro, I, I, so I, been, I went to the doctor the other day to get some checkup shit. <laughs> Bro, apparently I've got a fucking hernia, so <laughs> okay. I don't even know how that happened. I, right. I, I don't go to gym. I haven't lifted anything heavy for a long time. Yeah. I don't think it's age. I'm just getting old. No, I've I've had one. Is it bad? Oh, no, I haven't had... What did you just say? Hernia? Yeah. No, You've no, had no, no. hemorrhoids? Yeah, that. <laughs> nice. And that's some old people shit. That's yeah, a very that's old person. And I was scared and the doctor said, oh, it's regular, it'll go away. No, I've got a hernia. I gotta get is surgery. It, is a hemorrhoid what I'm thinking it it's is? On, like yeah. A, your butthole, butt like, comes yeah. out? Yeah, that's wild, bro. Spoken to me about that too. Maybe beep that out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had one. No, yeah. So I, I haven't. Yeah, my doctor said no. It just it goes away, dude. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know if I've ever had one. Like, it sounded whack, but I know it's something that happens. Yeah. But like, I'm like, oh, I don't think I've ever had one though. Like, she's like, yeah, know. and she explained how you do it. I know one of my gay friends used to get one a lot. Well, it, it, getting fucked in the ass. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. Fair. And we just make fun of him because he couldn't sit down. Is a hernia something that happens over here? A hernia is bottom of the a abdomen. Is like something? when you like. Picks something up heavy and it like it split, splits like your like tissue or something like that and your muscle comes through or you split your muscle and the tissue comes through or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get like a big bulge. Yeah, okay. And you get them like three spots. You can get them like down here, left, right, or like on your pubic area. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I've got it on the pubic area, which yeah. is the fucking worst one to get. Yeah. So now I get surgery and- Oh, you have to get surgery? I get full surgery for it, man. Oh, shit. Go so on. I'm pissed because I'm old and I want to do it. Yeah. And yeah. When surgery? I fucking I only found out like two days ago. Damn. But I'm like- he told me, and I'm like, huh? like, do you like hurt down like here or here? And I'm like, no. So why'd you go to the doctor? Though? I was been getting some checkups for some shit, and then I didn't. I wasn't. It wasn't for that. Yeah, but then yeah, they yeah. found out I had a hernia, so now I've got to get other shit sorted out, and I've got to get that shit. Fair. But your body's given up in you, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's all that years of neglect, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Like, and we then used I was, to pretty live a pretty crazy life when we were well, younger. Yeah, like, I'm on the golf course today. I was playing golf with all the work friends and. I was with my mate and he's got like a wife and kids and yeah, he's like yeah. 27. This motherfucker just hounds beers and has fun. Like wants to live my lifestyle. Like just having fun doing whatever, no wife and kids. Yeah. But then he got like, but he just drinks 
and he's like really good drinking. He's really good at being hungover. I can't do that anymore. Cause yeah. He didn't do it when he was earlier in life. Now, now we but now now he's doing it and he can survive. But now we've been drinking so much in the past. Yeah, we don't do it as much now. The hangovers are two three days. I think this is a better way to deal with it though. Like I feel like if you didn't have such a life, it's fair enough. If you're young and you know what you want to do in life, yeah. straight out of high school, you want that career path. You work every day up until you reach that goal. Great, good on you. I think that's fucking beautiful. Mm. But like for people like us, bro, that didn't really have too much of a direction and where we were heading and stuff mm. like that. We lived those years, bro. And those like, I can easily say I had like the best times then, you know what I mean? In this house. In this house, yeah. definitely, 100%. And like now I'm like, drinking doesn't even do it for me like too much, you know? I'm mm. like, oh, I don't want to go fucking get a carton and get pissed every weekend. Yeah. Like, I'd rather do it once every three months or something. It, make, like it that, does like make it a bit thing. special too. It makes it so much more special, bro. So like, I'm not binge drinking. I'm not suffering every fucking weekend. My weekends aren't going like this. Like it, I, I think if you could do it this way, I personally, from personal experiences, I recommend it. I just like the hangovers not to be as bad when you do do it. But that's because we're getting old, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I, I I'm. I'm. I'm not committing that I'm old, bro. You remember like when we were young, man? We used to go out from like Thursday all the way to fucking Sunday, Sunday dude, Stockies, and then literally and then come back Monday. at like three a.m. Sunday from Stockies, half pissed, wake up and go. It was so good. Man. Like ah. I genuinely remember driving to work every Monday for like a while. Just still not drunk. in a good way. Yeah, literally. Like, I, bro, one day I rocked up to work and the guys were like, you still smell like alcohol. I'm like, mm. fuck, dude, I had a shower and everything. Like, what? Yeah. It was just bad, bro, you know? So. It was good fun, though. It was, it I was. Rem- yeah. I remember we, we went to Stockies for a while, too. Yeah. And we had those two girls that would hang out here. Not for you, but, like, they were hanging out here. Yeah, they used yeah, to clean yeah, the house yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they used yeah. to come and stay here and then clean the house and then we go So party. good. Fucking so great. Good. Amazing. But, um... Yeah, I can't do that shit now. No, I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not looking out to go out. I hate the valley now. But you went. You, so you went out Friday night. You went. I had a great went, time Friday night. You went out to. You played some pool. You went to Fat uh, Louis. Fat Louis, and bro, you just drank all night there. All night there, bro. Like right. legitimately, is, like I fuck, no, all night at pool, bro. Because we well, went yeah, to pool sorry, at like B- B- y- o, wasn't it? Yeah, got to pool at like eight thirty or something at night, which mm. was already late. But we were like, fuck it, BYO. It's in um, Tuong, so hit it up. I don't know what it's called, but if you look it up, it's fucking. It's pretty good. I want to go. I'll, I'll, I'll be it's, BYO, it's a small time. venue, bro. There's like only like ten tables or whatever it is, but it wasn't busy at all. Like yeah. I thought, like we'd have to make a booking. Like we rocked up. It was like just walk in, pick a table, play on the table, mm. and you pay at the end. Hundred and twenty bucks. We paid for like five hours, bro. Two tables. Hundred and twenty. That's bucks. pretty cheap. So like how many people? Like six people. Yeah, seven people. Something pretty like good. That. Yeah, literally, it was really good. And um, then our mate fucking Kia. I don't know how, man. Like every most He's a wild most fuck boys with. nights, bro. Most boys nights, like we don't have like a plan of what we're gonna do after our first initial stop. Yeah. So then he's it's always going, the best way to plan an night. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's great. But like, and then someone listened to Kia, and it was like, oh, I know this bar in the city, mm-hmm. and like. Bro, I've only been there a handful of times, but I never enjoyed going there. Um, but I never remember what it's called. And he's like, yeah, let's go here. Anyways, I'm going up this fucking dingy old staircase. And I'm like, oh, I remember this place. And we get in there. I'm like, oh, it's Fat Louis. <laughs> fucking hate you here, bro. Like, Fat Louis is... Don't ever go there, bro. It's I don't so even know. shit, bro. It is the worst Kia place to go. It. Yeah, he I know. He loves it. It's just a dungeon, bro. Oh, an attic. Because it's upstairs. It's upstairs, yeah. It's fucked. Like, uh, it was just... No. It's one of the old, like, um, shitty dive bars that didn't get knocked down. It's yeah. like the last one left in Brisbane. It's so shit, man. Like, it, it is honestly... I could have thought of a million places. Yeah, we people only go there to fucking do drugs, though, really. Actually, to be fair, I couldn't have thought of a million places because every other place I was thinking about was in the valley. And I'm like, yeah. I, that's the last place I want to go. But, um, yeah, man. Like, we ended up having a fucking crazy night. Didn't get home till like, 4.30 I'm trying 4 to think wait, that no, night. Everything's, like, near Stocky's area. Like, yeah. there's, like... Oh, Jed Buddha's not even there anymore. Yeah, legit. Nah. The only people that would really know is Kia. Because he goes, he Jack does Burn? No, no, yeah, Jack bars, Burn, Jack Burn too. But he was no help because he listened to Kia and said Fat Louis. There are cool bars around, but none of them really play like music. How yeah. like you want a place to play music? Yeah, you yeah. wanna you wanna feel like you're like having fun in the valley, but not really be in the valley. Yeah, because fuck the valley. Which also, why I was trying to figure it out why are there no fucking clubs around West End, South Bank, or the city? Because like, it doesn't shut. need to be, dude. Wasn't there a yes, few there around does, West End? I like I like the idea of a bar though, like an open open layout bar where they're playing good music and you can go actually talk to people. But like, none of them play music like that. No yeah, more. I know. Yeah. That's that's the downfall of the bars. Like, I just don't think... Like, they play live music, which is great. Mm. But, like, I just think that if they can mix it up with, like, modern music, you'd draw a younger crowd in. It'd be a good time. But older people do go to fucking bars. Yeah. Hence, we know we're getting old. 
We are fucking so, old, man. <clears throat> but yeah, I ended up staying off for like 36 hours, bro. But I say, actually, fucking <laughs> not not on, was it Friday night? Was was Friday night? No, Saturday night Dylan's thing? Last we- weekend. Last weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sat up for 30 hours as well because I woke up at 3 a.m. to go to work. Yeah. Went to bed at like 5, 6 a.m. or something like that. Yeah. It was there. I think it was like just under like 20 something hours. It was not good, bro. Like for real. Bro, right. these old early mornings, not, that that's what's making us old is these early mornings. I've been doing early mornings. That's what I'm saying. You're old. Yeah. I'm not. I only just started. I know. It's not good. It's definitely not good. No. Um, I don't know, dude. You're the youngest one here, but your body's fucked. My body's so yeah, fucked, bro. Yeah, I haven't had to go to surgery yet, bro. So that's on you. My body's my my. I am falling apart. I've been falling apart. My knees are cooked. Yep. I can't squat down without like having to like buckle a knee. Oh no, my knees are fucked. Yeah, I, I my do shoulders are fucked. I do agree with that. I don't have tennis elbow though, so that's a win. Yeah, nah, that's coming on. Yeah. I think it's just the boxing and shit, bro. Like it's just I don't know what it they're is. They're gonna be fine. Yeah, I will fight if my yeah, yeah, I will fight. Yeah, I will eventually fight, man. I'm pretty keen to do yeah. it. So like it'll be good because Thailand's got this one bar. Have I told I told you guys about well, it probably yeah. on Fifi Island, like the yeah. reggae bar. It's like you can get drunk, bro, and just like jump up on there and like fight someone in the crowd or whatever <laughs> the fuck it is. Like, I was watching a few videos the other day about it. It looks pretty cool. Ethan's very, very, very keen on jumping in that ring. I feel like Ethan would throw a heavy punch. Oh yeah, he's good he's a good sparring partner, bro. Yeah. Like I spar Ethan all the time. Like it's pretty good. Pretty good mm. sparring partner. I rate him. But um yeah, he's very keen to get in that ring. Yeah. I told him, bro, I'm not- I don't think I'd do it overseas, I'm not man. really trying to get knocked out in front of like 200 people, you know what I mean? Like, So you want to go to the kickboxing capital of the world and get drunk <laughs> and fight them? Is, no. that, is that the plan? I want to watch people do it. I don't want to watch <laughs> Ethan do it. Okay, just making sure. So I've, I've signed he's going to make me get in there, but I don't really, yeah. I don't really want to get knocked so out. I, I've, been, I've, been, I've done boxing for a while, but like I've, I've recently done uh, signed up and doing MMA. Mm. But I- then found out that you shouldn't do MMA if you have bad shoulders and knees. And a hernia. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't do anything with a hernia. But yeah, now, so... I don't know. But I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to get into MMA soon. Yeah, nice. So well, if you need a sparring partner, bro, I'm your dude. i you up. Um, I'm keen. I've got some would you rather's I want you boys to answer. Apparently, these are some of the hardest ones. I thought they were pretty good, actually. So you guys keen on some would you rather's? Yeah. Hit me. Would you rather have sunburn all the time or constantly have a mosquito bite? Constantly have a mosquito bite. Mosquito bite. You reckon? Yeah, hundred percent. Fucking all good. Yeah, I, I think I would shit, agree. Bro. Sunburn like, sucks, bro. You can't do nothing. You can't roll over. Yeah, but you, you know, know how you like you wear your, clothes. You can't have a shower without it hurting. You can't do fuck nothing. But you know how like when it's like in between your fingers and just always itching and it just hurts. Sunburn in between your fingers. No, no, no. no. I'm talking about mosquito bite. Oh, I was, do I get to pick where it goes? No. Nah. Well, where does it go? In between your fingers? I mean, I don't know. That's the only place it's going to go. That's probably the worst place to go. I feel like, I feel like that was a hard one, but I would agree. Bro, no, like, because sunburn, you can't... Ah, mosquito bites are so annoying. They're annoying, bro, but sunburns You can't sleep. So shit, dude. You can't do yeah. anything. Like, like, you're just not sleeping. And you're hot. Like, you wear clothes and it's just, like, radiating heat, bro. Like, yeah. fuck that. Like, do you guys sunburn? Uh, very rarely, bro. Like, yeah. Like very, yeah. very rarely. Yeah, like I do. The worst sunburn yeah. I've had was when I was in New South Wales in Yamba, bro. And this is like, I've never been sunburned in my life. And I was like, fuck grade 10 or something like that. And I was like laying there on the pool on a sunbed, floating around and no sunscreen on or whatever it is. Didn't even know I was getting sunburned, bro. Mm. That night I went to bed and I couldn't even wear a t-shirt. Like I was like everywhere, bro. Like my yeah. whole upper body was just burnt. And I was like- Rookie no, error, bro. No, I, I, got, I got the worst on my back one day and it literally, my whole back peeled off. It was bad, bro. Like, so far. I hate sunburn. I'd rather a mosquito bite than sunburn. Yeah. All right, next one. Um, Desert island alone. Like trapped on a desert island, island alone or someone that you hate? Someone alone. that I hate. Alone. You're alone, you reckon? Yeah. Someone that I hate, bro. So you got to be on desert island with someone that you absolutely Yeah, because I can actually- like I won't go crazy, you know what I mean? Like I'll, I'll be able to like- oh, I don't know. Like I would, but like not as fast as I would be by myself trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like you just sit in there- You're probably yourself. more likely as well to like survive with another person. That's what I'm thinking. And I don't think there's, I would, I don't uh, hate anybody as much where like I'd rather die. Yeah. Well, exactly. So, there's that, yeah. But 100%. he just pissed me off. So like, uh, you get pissed off easy though. Yeah, that would just irk me, bro. Yeah, so you're going alone? Yeah, I'd do alone. I reckon. Also, I like. I I'm cocky about it. I reckon I'll be alright. So, uh, the other question: Who do you reckon of us three would be able to survive the longest on the desert island? Alone. alone. Yeah. Me. No, Harry, you're fucked, cunt. Harry doesn't like camping. I'm, I'm from, yeah, that I'm out. from Harry, an Harry's island. the first one. Yeah, but done. you don't like camping. It doesn't matter. Is I'm still good at it. Sorry, bro. Mm, no, I'm still good at it. I have actually, Harry, Ted. Ted you don't even know how to husk a coconut. Ted, take the. 
I don't need Nigga, to. I come from an island. <laughs> I'm talking about him. I come from an island too. Talk about the whitey. The, I come from an island. I'm talking about the Brit. That <laughs> fucking boated his uh, way over here. Colonizer. I'm talking about the Scottish fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can't steal the island. Someone already got there. No. True. Well, yeah. Wait. So what? Where, are we voting Aaron? No. I'm no. De- definitely I'm definitely not. voting May. Um, oh, I wasn't gonna vote for you. I'm 100 percent voting for. Well, me. if it's not Harry and it's not you, then it's, it's not. Nice. Listen, I'm fine. Not if really. I'm out, but then Zach has to be out because he doesn't eat food, bro. I, right, bro. I, I go out there, I'll survive for weeks. You're a man. picky eater. You I, don't eat yeah, fish. Yeah, if I need to eat, I love fish. Who yeah. told you I don't like fish? Yeah, that was a wild thing to throw out there. Uh, I just swear. I, Harry, bro, Harry. We were in Bali, he wasn't even shit. <laughs> he was scared, bro. He's oh, scared. that's it. You're scared, bro. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not scared. Oh, you have anxiety <laughs> too, bro. It'll shoot through the Nah, roof. I'd be so good. I reckon I'd be so good in those diet situations. You got a fucking I sensitive tummy, week. bro. Yeah, you did, but no one believed you. You got yeah. a hernia and a sensitive tummy. Uh, give me my <laughs> give me my peak form when I'm not a crystal ball. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. Oh, so you mean your prime years? <laughs> I need my, give me like three, four years ago, boys, and a carton of piss, I'm good. Can't, you're going to drink the carton of piss, start a fire with the carton, and then- That'd Just sit that. there and two tell days. camp stories to my coconut. Yeah, two days. <laughs> Max. Fair, 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 fair. I reckon I got that. Um, be able to never leave your country or travel or be able to travel anywhere, but never return to your country. So be able to- never Leave, be, a, leave never Australia? Be, ne, leave Austra- never be able to leave Australia or leave Australia, but never be able to return back. No, nah, I think um, I would stay. I, I would stay. I think I'd have to stay too. And there is, there's a lot you could do on a show. I'd be upset. That's not. That's not why I would stay. Bro, no, I Because I already experience it now. Like I'm like I haven't been home in ten years, and like I mm. crave going home. Yeah, I'm craving it. Like that's why I'm going. Like I, I yeah. literally like feel like I'm missing something. So like I think like if you left your home and you could never return your home, you'd, yeah. you'd miss that. Like that would that would suck. Bro. That, like, that is true. Because like I I feel it now and it sucks. Yeah. yeah. All, all my family like just moved here. Like pretty much like. You, all my, your, your entire family now like majority of like most of my cousins live here they all moved away from like auckland they all moved up from sydney and melbourne most of them live in brisbane yeah and if they all just got here and i dipped and what i gotta see them what every three years when they trap like yeah on, bro, i'd fucking cry That's but true. it's not even like the people like yeah it is the people but like i think it's just like having a sense of being home it's a ho- it, yeah. having a safe place and be able to like be just 100%. being home bro like when like, you leave brisbane for a long time and i come back i love it have I, you guys been to like middle australia like Ayers rock and stuff like that nah. i think that's a whole different fucking side of australia yeah, yeah, like yeah, central like, that, that you can go and visit and see different things you know yeah and you got western australia which is like fake and you know it's good this is true yeah. um incredible dancer or an incredible singer incredible singer singer I can sing her. all day. Like, I, yeah. I can't really bust out dance moves or any camera. Yeah, we're the only ones to get girls. I've asked. You know I feel like five different people. This they all said dancer. Dancer would be cool because it's I like yeah, but like no, not all the people are dancers. Blah blah blah. But if you're an incredible singer, you can capitalize on that way more. Yeah, legit, bro. Like, but you, also like, I'm not like that. Ba- like, I'm fine in a club, I'm but terrible. like, I'm so white. Being able to sing is fucking. Dope. When, yeah. Oh, Harry, when you said you're fine in a club, can you bring up that video of like just in the edit of you at nope. Finn's at club? Finn's. Nope. Surely you can't. Like, yeah, surely, surely, bro. surely hey. not. Oh, Come bro, on. Don't do that, man. Um, you, were bo- you were good on that club, man. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, bro. I miss, I miss that ho- shit. I miss Holiday Harry. I do miss Holiday Harry. <laughs> That's why I'm going on another one. <laughs> that will, it, will be, it will be pretty cool if you put that video in, but. All right, then last, <laughs> last one, boys. Be the funniest person in the room always or the smartest person in the room smartest. always? I'm already both. Uh, I'm always, uh, no. You're definitely not. The smartest, bro. 100%. You reckon smartest? Yeah. yeah. 100%. I don't give a fuck if people think I'm funny or not, bro. I'm already like kind of funny. So like, mm. I'll take the smart. Like if I'm like in a, like a room, then yeah, I'll take the smart. Um, like if I'm in a room with like big people, I'd rather be smart. Because I, I feel I like the, to I be- think the, I think the smartest decision is smarter, but like I'm not that, so I'm gonna get funny. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like to be funny to people around you, I think you can be smart and be witty and funny. And if people don't get it, then you have to dumb your jokes down, which makes it harder for you to- Yeah, but if you're like really, if you're the funniest person in the room, you're gonna make sure that like- you're Everyone be, gets it. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're the Fair. smartest person in the room, obviously. I reckon being the smartest person in the room is can be a disadvantage at times. Why? Because when people are like- Everyone that, likes the funny guy. No one likes the know-it-all. No one likes the know-it-all, you know? So, so that's like, where I'm like- But you don't have to give your opinion, just cause you know the answer. No, you but like give everyone, your like, everyone would be like, oh, this, this fucking guy. You know? Yeah. Like, don't but give me the fucking That's your problem, truth. Kyle. That's your problem. Just because you're fucking not as smart as him, you look at him like that's yeah. your- no. Just because you're like, smart, oh, this don't be guy. a dick. Legit. But like, you could be smart and not be a dick though. Yeah, that's yeah. true. 
I do I'm, it every day. But I'm taking smart because, like, I reckon I'm already funny. I think you. I'm for sure already <laughs> funny. Debatable. <laughs> I'm taking smart for sure. I yeah, think, smart. I think, I'm, all day I, think smart. I take funny personally. I'd rather be smart and rich than funny and. Yeah, I'd probably be not, way richer if I was smart. And yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. I've got a few for you guys If you guys are ready Shoot Yeah What do we got um, I'm gonna give you Five million dollars right now Or Cool You get one dollar Per step For a full year Okay So now, I've worked it out Average amount of steps right It's around It's around Like that 16 17,000 a day To be over five Everything plus that Is capital Five mil a year Okay I'm taking the dollar No but you only get So five mil right now Or but I'm saying, saying To get to five mil a year you have to do about 16,000 steps a day. Yeah, it's something around okay. that. Let me double check that for you. Though. I think yeah. I think, for the next 12 months, I'm making it my only job to walk 30,000 steps a day. Yeah, I'll take the dollar. Easy. I'll take the dollar of steps. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. Yeah. It's 13,600 to make Because at the million. moment, at my work, I'm I'm walking around 16,000 steps a day. Yeah. On average. Yeah. yeah. So like, I'm making it for the next 12 months. Bam. I, I quit hit. my job. And all I'm doing is walking. 100%. And, you're, oh, and you're getting fit. You're getting ripped. And then you get that money and you're just getting girls on the yacht. And right. you're just like, mm. and then you get hernia and then you lose everything. And you, yeah. Yeah, yeah all I'm all good, bro. I'll fucking do those anyway. Bro, they got like those uh, walking. <laughs> I'm looking at those steps right now. I'll do that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a walking treadmill. Those ones you sit at your desk and you can just like keep walking. Does that count? What though? would you do, Harry? Are you taking the dollar? Steps, bro. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. I reckon I could knock out 20K easy each day. But I like, reckon would 20K you, is a lot. Do you reckon you'll benefit like five mil right now? And then you if could do- I could uh, what, could you, what could you achieve with that five mil in one year then waiting a whole year to get whatever you're you, getting? So for basically, that? do you reckon- I, You what? You reckon you're probably going to- After the 12 months, you'll probably bring in maybe 10 to 12 mil after the up uh, doing the steps? If you're serious about it, you get to 10 to 12. Yeah, yeah right. But then- do you reckon if someone gave you $5 million right now, you could probably double it? If I not reckon I could it? double it, triple it. Yeah. That's, I could not. I, I think, <laughs> but why? But I, think <laughs> I would rather wait till a month and secure 12 and then be able to double, triple that yeah, after. There is that. Or in a safer way, like then invest five and make that work for me and yeah, have that yeah, back yeah. up. With 10 and 12 in investments, I could make it so I don't work again. With five, I'd still have to do some type of- I don't think you would, bro. Like, I think you could be smart about it. But, but, but just to be safe, <laughs> just not. to be safe. You would take the steps yeah. and get the 10, 12 mil at the end of the year. Now, in saying that. But if you were the smartest person in the room, you take five and then. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> and, then um, and you just sell this fucking pyramid scheme. So legit. The dumb 100%. Eyes. Also, take into account your guys' bodies are shit. No, my body's elite, bro. I can walk, bro. I'm good. I can walk. I can walk. I can't run. All right, we'll do it. And then, um, yeah, I got one more. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll pay you. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I did run a marathon once, and my Achilles don't work the same way. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Zach's, Zach's falling apart. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, dude, I don't know why you didn't just take the five. You're done. <laughs> um, all right, last one. You can stay as you are right now or you get an extra million every year, but you have to eat six hot dogs a day. Wait, what, what was six the first one? Six hot dogs a day. You stay as you are, nothing changes, or nah, I mean, you get a million dollars every year, but you have to eat six dogs. I mean, six hot dogs a I'm, day. I'm, oh, that's I'm, easy. I'm I can doing the six, six dogs, dogs bro. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm doing? F first year- Getting a surgery, removing my gag reflex. Done. Every day, every morning. Just like pills, bro. My vitamins, just See, putting down some dolls. How, this is why I think you're gay. Because, like, that was so unnecessary. Like, it just takes you an extra 10 seconds to chew it. Like, nah. you make this so right. weird. Time why and money. You need to you get rid of that so guy. Weird. You, you got 24 hours to eat six hot dogs. And, and you want and the <laughs> first thing you say is get like, rid of your gag, gag reflex. <laughs> just the say fuck, you wanted bro. to get rid of your gag what? reflex and move on. What? So you just want to suck a dick, bro. That's all you, you want to do. You saw Jason Love like and you want to suck a dick now. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. We're yeah. all accepting you. You're I, a liar. In saying that though, you just made that your full-time job as well. Sucking like, dick. No. <laughs> 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 bro, you're still in this lane of the pug thing, aren't you? <laughs> You're the one no, who you're the 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 What? I'm just I'm talking about hot dogs. You I guys are the one sucking cock. You said the gay thing and then you're like, no, you guys are. Yeah, child. Is that what you call gaslighting? That is gaslighting. Oh, uh, gaslighting's not real. Babe, I learned the definition. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Yeah. You were right. Jesus Christ. Actually, I got one more question, guys. Um, how many birds do you reckon you guys could fight off? Like and a number of birds. Well, what birds? What do I have? I'm, I'm talking I'm talking good old fashioned pigeons. Pigeons. Oh, pigeons. Uh, pigeons. Whatever. I want a high number. Ten. What do you reckon? At least ten. What? No. no. I'm, I'm in the hundreds. Yeah, I'm in hundreds. What fight off pigeons? Coming at you. You know, 
like a hundred pigeons at once. Bare hands. Bare hands, no weapons. No, fuck a pigeon. Fuck a pigeon. You want to fuck a pigeon? No, no, we'll go. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll go magpies. Oh, I'm I'm saying ten. Oh, I'm saying I'm saying fifty. I I think it's gonna hurt, Are you but hit? I can still reckon I can get up to like those high. I could reckon I could clock a hundred. You're, you're blind. How, how I'm <laughs> exactly. you're, you're gonna be blind. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many hernias. No, I wear glasses. <laughs> I wear glasses. Oh, in saying that, us being blind, wearing I have glasses now. By the way, as well, I went to the optometrist. I'm Lame. really blind. Fuck me, bro. What <laughs> yeah. is going Lame. on? Oh yeah, and no, no, I got my teeth done. Oh nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good job, bro. Oh, you look great. Oh, thank oh, you. Look at you. See some positives. I was in like, the- looking at your nice. smile on the camera. Yeah. I was like, see, so I would po- say positivity. Nice, bro. Good job, bro. Thank you. Fuck with that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Good yeah. for you. So in saying that, I fuck up. 50 right. Look parts. at what a good job does. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Fucking earth. Okay. We'll talk about this afterwards. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, no pigeon. Uh, pigeons are like P- pigeons in the hundreds. I reckon magpies fifty. Honestly, if it's pigeons, I don't think there's a limit. It's like until I get tired. Yeah, that's that's your limit. That's your yeah. I'll do a couple hundred. Couple hundred. How are you killing them? Punching? Punching. Kicking? How are Punch. you fucking punching a bird to death unless you grab it? How are they killing Dude, me? You, 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 you hit a pigeon a little bit. They're fucking on the ground over there crying. You, and then you a bend it comes and picks them up. You saved the bird last I know. Week, that's so. what I'm saying. That's why this question got brought to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I reckon, I reckon p- pigeons, piss weak. I reckon magpies are a little bit tougher, but if they get one hit on a magpie, they're over there. They can't fly anymore. Yeah, you damage their wing. Their, their wings are gone. So I reckon. Yeah, but that's any bird. You just, you just do, you just go around, just fucking flapping arms. You hit a couple. They hit into some other ones. They get winded. They're done. They just go over and just. You get ten thousand per bird. True. I reckon. I reckon. Uh, 10 to, yeah, I'm, oh, if you put in money on it, bro, I'll fucking take as many birds on as you want. Well, it's life like, or death, bro. They're gonna kill you. Or you're gonna. They they yeah. can't kill me. That's impossible. They could kill you. But they, they could definitely. They I, could definitely. I actually can't figure out how a bird could kill. Now, me. what about hawks? That's different. No, that's it, fucked, bro. That's do, you, do you reckon you could take out a hawk? No. Yeah. One? Yeah. One? Yeah. Easy. I, uh, two? two? I'm no. talking like two, two hawks. Two's Coming hard. at you no, hard out. Hard. No, no. Do you reckon- with, Bro, have you seen those birds of prey at they the fucking, fucking zoo, They are fucking wild. Bro? They're nuts, bro. But I'm saying the same thing, bro. One's like, because what, what, what's their attack thing? They're coming in there attacking your head, trying to pick you. Bro, you're but no. Nah. You're just going like that. Bro, like have you seen the their gun. talons, bro? Yeah, I know, but how's that? That's not going to kill you. It's more you. of like a timing thing, though. Are you kidding? That no, would no, kill it you. It would kill it you. It kill you, animals. If you, didn't, if you didn't fight back. We have arms, bro. Animals don't have arms. I get it, but if two's if coming at it, you. it's gone. Bro. I reckon I'm taking two. Bro, a hawk, a hawk is so big. They're fucking huge. I'm taking two. And you're telling me, you're telling me if two of them attacked you at once, you're going to give up. I'm going to be battered and bruised. I'm not saying I'm not. I may miss an eye who knows but all i know is that i'm coming out best out of two what actually about three? you know what i agree with him i support it thank you because i think he's gonna be fucked up but i reckon he would have made it three uh, i reckon it's be, i reckon i could do three but i reckon it's gonna be close but i still reckon i'm backing myself for three Damn, four bro. at once i don't think you're uh, gonna uh, get a honestly uh, i reckon they're gonna get your eyes and then you're done i applaud your confidence bro because i really don't think i could take on two hawks yeah what you reckon you're just a wanna yeah Pussy. They're fucking scary, bro. <laughs> hey, you, hey, hey, you know what? Cunts, We're just built different. Hey? Yeah, one hundred percent. You're talking about fighting birds. No, here's right. what you have to understand. Don't give a fuck about it's a bird. A timing thing. How about how about after a, a full night of like on the beers, having fun at? I'm not looking to fight a bird. But then you go out and fight a bird. You're like amped up. You're with the boys. You're excited. I'm gonna be dead quicker. I reckon. No, because I'm drunk. No, you can't feel anything. You're drunk. What's your worst injury? Getting well, you drunk. You thought you'd fight. What's your worst drunk? injury when you're drunk? I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't think I've. Ever injured myself being drunk? Rolled ankle. How can you remember me ever injuring myself when I'm drunk? No, it's, that's you wait that name, but yeah, I was thinking I was got that got that confused. Yeah, yeah, I just passed out. You didn't hit a head or anything like that. I don't. Just cut a shoulder. No. Fell over the rolled shower. an ankle. Oh, bro, sp- sprained your knee falling down birdie stairs. Oh no, I rolled an ankle. I went to a Suicide Boys concert and we did the Wall of Death where we ran oh, into yeah. each other and then like we fall like got on a punch on the shit and some dude like. Stepped on my ankle. That's probably that's the, wild, bro. I've got, I I've got uh, tenants in the in my left, no, my in my right ankle. Yeah, I've fallen down the birdie stairs and my knee swelled up, and I had to go to the chiropractor and get all fucked up. I've got uh, forehead split open a few weeks back, I dislocated shoulder a few weeks back, um, <sighs> ankles. Maybe you elbows. should just stop drinking. Yeah, bro. I like, think it's just a you thing. <laughs> like, no, I, mean, I just thought it was like a common thing. Like no, people no, like, yeah, no, no, but that's no, never no, happened no, to me okay, ever. Like, yeah. No. Yeah, no. you have an issue. That's not an issue. Ah, it's just clumsy. Uh, uh, it's falling downstairs is a clumsy thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah That's yeah, where yeah, most yeah. of that happens. Yeah, fair. <laughs> falling over. Yeah, but no, 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 no injuries, man. And ex-girlfriends. 
True. <laughs> um, um, what else we got? we got? Is there anything else we want to bring up? Uh, yeah, I saw this thing actually. Fucking, um, I was watching the Joe Budden podcast. Good podcast, by the way. Shout out Joe Budden, bro. I, like, I actually like those guys. They're mm. pretty cool. Um, there was this one thing. It was like, um, what are your terms about loaning people money? Like if I came up to you and I'm like, hey, bro, I need like a thousand dollars. I'd give you a thousand dollars. I'd give you a thousand. What are the terms think, though? What are the terms though? Like pay back. Do you when do you, you, get, do you uh, have uh, terms? Pay back when you can. Um, realistically, if I see you in the strip club throwing hundreds out, I'm gonna be pissed. That's my kind of term. Pissed enough to do anything, or pissed I'd enough? be like, yo, what the fuck? Pull your head in, like seriously. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's saying that I'm terrible at paying money back, so that never, I never loan me money. I'm I'm not too stressed about it, right? Because like, if you're coming to me for like, you need money. I'm assuming, you know, it's a thing. Yeah. And I'll just give it. And I'm, then I'm pretty if it's like if it, it gets to like a few weeks and you're like, all right, come on, man, like, you know. What's the know. longest period of time you would go without asking for your money back, I guess? No, nah, I could go a couple of years. That could go a while. Yeah. It depends how good of a friend they are. Yeah, if yeah, I'm, yeah. If if I'm willing if to give you money, you're probably a good yeah, friend. Yeah, if it's a good homie, like, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. If it's yeah, like yeah. get it to me when you get it to me. Yeah. If it's an acquaintance that I'm like, I know, but like I'm not with your best friends. But I wouldn't be lending those guys money anyways. Though. I wouldn't lend them a thousand dollars. Suck dicks. I wouldn't lend them a thousand bucks. Yeah. Hundred bucks, yeah, maybe. Would you make sure that would you have to look at like their life and be like, they have the means to pay me that money no, back? No, that's weird. No, I think again, if your friend, you gotta put trust in your friend. That like, I'm not saying I would do it. I'm, just I'm saying the like they're in a bad situation. Like, I'll, I'll yeah, 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 Also, yeah. I'd hope that you're not like I'm not gonna hawk over your life. Yeah, like yo, why'd you get an extra large meal, dude? You owe me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, I that's feel such like a mean thing to yeah, do. Yeah, but so I you feel can't like do that. A lot of people do that though. I've yeah, got a shit friend. Oh, yeah. not shit friend, but a lot of people would. People. Money, people see money in a lot of different ways. Though. Yeah, bro. It's how you've get grown up. And you guys were saying this the other week when I was fucking in a bad way without money and we went clubbing. And yeah. I was like, I feel like shit. Like, no, it's like, just don't, don't even worry about yeah, it. Yeah, the, yeah. Like, we're here having fun. What's the other option? Yeah. You wait outside. Yeah. That's fucking- Bro, that's I've such always a said- that, I've, I've had friends that would do that. I've, always, friends, I've always said this well, about yeah. money, bro. I've literally always said this about money. That shit comes and goes, bro. Like your mates are just your mates, bro. Like, yeah. Money comes and goes, bro. And like, I would rather be- like if I was super rich, bro, and none of my friends had the money I had, I would still rather go eat at McDonald's with everyone at the table mm. than go to fucking George's Paragon by myself. Yeah. Fuck that, bro. Still like, never been there. <laughs> it's closed down, so you never I know, been. I'm really mad because I really like seafood. I'll show yeah. you a better place. Gold, Gold Coast is good. I'll yeah. show you a better place. But, um, yeah. no, but real though. Like, yeah, I, 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 I agree don't, I don't you. ever see money like that, bro. Like, if I have it, you just got it. Like, it's all good. Yeah, bro. I think, I don't know. I'm very, like, tight with my money, but at the same time, I'm happy to, like, if people need it, I'll fucking give my left arm. Like I, I've given people, like people have literally, I've been in the car with someone and they've like almost run out of fuel and I've had $30 in my name for like two weeks yeah. and I just give them the whole $30. Yeah. And then I go home and I'm like, why the fuck to do that? But like, but it's yeah, also, you, you, just, you just do it, you know? You just never know what someone else is going through. A hundred percent. You never know that. Like, and I completely agree with you. It's like, I'm glad you guys all had that answer. Cause like, if you said some fuck shit, I'd be like, I'd be fucking like, weird. A thousand like, dollars, you're signing a contract. I'd be like, yeah. fucking literally call this off right now. I'm going home, bro. Like, I'm nah. so glad you said that. But it's also because like other people have done it for, like I've had like a family like lend us money. Yeah. I, I still owe him like a bit. Yeah. But he also understands. He's like, yo, it is what it is. Yeah, my dude. brother's uh, uh, fucking helped me out a lot in the last few years. So Legit. shout out to him. Um, And I just about to pay him I just help out my week, family so. in general, bro. Like they're fucking, you know, I, yeah. Sage and I help out our family a lot, like mom and everyone. Yeah. Bro. So it's like money to me isn't really nothing. Like it comes and goes, bro. Like I'd rather the experiences and the memories I have with, all my mates. I regret nothing. Yeah, legit. 100%. But that was my question. I just no, want to see I you guys stand like on it anyways. Question. Oh, I'm glad you guys like aren't that. fuckwits. Yeah, uh, legit, bro. That's, <laughs> that's what Aaron's saying. He's like, I'm glad yeah. I, you know, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. you guys weren't fuckwits, but like, it's all good now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's sure. like cemented in my head now. Like, we're good. We're good. Um, so, if you need a hand paying for that hernia, Harry's got your back. Uh, do, do you have to pay for that? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know about most how, I don't know how be, public works. So most of yours private should works, be really. covered by <laughs> Medicare. You have Medicare, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got uh, private health, but I didn't get hospital cover and I'm pissed. Everything would have been covered. So why did mad. you not get hospital cover? Oh, I, I like, don't have it either. It was like an extra fucking, because that's how my teeth done was private health. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's um, yeah, extra, like hell extra. 
No, no, your Medicare still covers hospital. I think I think, it sh- I think my Medicare should cover all because it's technically emergency surgery. Yeah, yeah, so it should Me- be right. But I like- think private health just gives you uh, opportunity to get to the front of the queue a yeah. lot quicker, you and go, then and, you can go and, get, as- and have a room by yourself. Yeah, yeah, and you can go private hospitals as well. With um, if you get private hospital yeah. cover, it's the same. Yeah. It's the same surgery. Same so I'm, shit. I'm thinking about getting it now. Well, I, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be put in hospital for anything, and now I'm like, shit. I but if you look at your tax return, you'll see you're paying a Medicare levy. Yeah. So that's what that is. Well, yeah. yeah, I also earn over the threshold, so I have to pay an extra percent on top of that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it makes sense for me to get private health, and that's why I got it. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Private health's good. Um, guys, real quick, we're going to rattle off some questions. Now, this section is called Bender, Sesh, or Trip. Um, I'm going to name three names, and then you tell me which one you would like to go on a Bender with, which one you would like to Sesh with, and which one you'd like to Trip Balls with. Uh, Captain. Um, it was just 4th of July, so happy America Day. America. Freedom, Whoa. bombs, America. bang, bang, bang. It means nothing to me. Um, Trump, Biden, Obama. I'm oh. fucking session with Obama because I know that Chris smokes I, weed. I 100%. Reckon, that was my first answer. 100%. 100%. Like, definitely. I reckon tripping with Trump. I was going to go the other way. All right. I just reckon. What was it? Trump I reckon and- Biden, Biden would freak you out on a trip. I reckon that's what I want. I want to see him go. Uh, no, I reckon he'd freak me out in a trip. Oh. That's what I'm saying. I would really love to get on piss with John Donald Trump, though. I know, me too. But Like, I would trip with Joe Biden, I think. But I'd just do, like, not an acid trip. Like, it'd be, like, a mushy trip or something. Yeah, that lasts, like, yeah. 20 minutes, half an hour, for an hour, two hours. I'm well, okay with that. Getting on the piss not, with Trump would be fun. Getting on the piss with Trump would be hectic, bro. I, would, I do like that idea. I like that. I like. That. I think. I think. Honestly, yeah. I think we're all in agreement that we're tripping with Biden. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. it'd just be so much fun. I, also, I think he might not make it. Like he. Is That's f- even scarier. Though. He's fragile. Like he might just fall over. <laughs> who's, uh, he, <laughs> he might actually uh, remember this shit. Who's he gonna needs win to say the, on a trip? But who's gonna win the fight? Me or Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. With your injuries, bro. bro you guys probably have the same. Injuries. It depends. If it's a windy day, he might just fall do over. Remember, do you remember when we played? Um, soccer for a while and I just got injured every week. Yeah, dude, you're useless. Uh, oh yeah, you played with me. Yeah, you're but I was so dude. I was the best player on the team. You were, but you. But I was injured every game. The Whoa. best ability is availability, <laughs> which you were not. Remember when a chick almost broke my ankle? Yeah, that was that was so <laughs> bad. But it's like a little like five foot chick rolled me, bro, and I fucking like I thought I snapped my ankle it was the worst yeah. thing ever. Yeah, some of them took that shit way too serious. Yeah, so fuck y'all. Yeah. Um, ooh, threads just came out. So I was looking at um, I've been following this Elon Musk Zuckerberg. So oh, yeah, weird. Give me Musk, Zuck, Bill Gates. Mm, can we can we change Bill Gates to um, what's the Amazon guy? Oh, Bezos. Oh, Bezos. Bezos. I reckon that's a better combination though. Sorry. Yeah, go Bezos. Um, oh, Bezos on a yacht, bro. You seen Bezos playing on the yacht? Mm. That would be fun because you know you're going and drinking yeah. on drink on that yacht. Yeah, I, I reckon you've got to. S- I'd trip with Elon. I think you're tripping with Elon for sure. I think you're smoking with Zuck, and I think you're partying with Bezos. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that because Zuck would be the most boring out of all of them. I reckon. But I also think tripping with Elon could freak you out with the amount of shit that he would say. I think he'd be fun, bro. Like, I think I think I think he would fuck your from, mind though because he knows so much. But that's what you want though. Like, yeah, you, want, you want that. Like, I'm a that's very crazy. I'm a very fragile brand. You haven't tripped, so like- I know I have never tripped. But I also think. Uh, mm, I think I'd still freak out on <laughs> weed. I would, I would 100% trip with Elon because like every interview I've watched about the yeah. people that interview him, it's like they say he's super smart, but he like brings everything down a level to match who he's talking Quite to. Why he talks so slow, eh? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, like he's down. processing shit super fast and like what's coming out, he has to think about it so and think, dumb it down the being way. Being the tri- smartest person in the room, how annoying would that be? It's no, not- I think he's just autistic. Yeah, probably. They are the, <laughs> I think they are the most is. smartest people in the world. They are, they're autistic fucking, people. Yeah, it's their insane. superpower, bro. Yeah, that's true. What's your superpower? Uh, I smoke weed. What's your superpower, Harry? The lungs of steel, baby. Um, I'm good at everything. Fucking, he's so humble. He is, honestly. Such a humble Ugh, man. I strive to be as humble as that. <laughs> humble, humble balls the shit out of me. I hate humble people. Um, oh, this is a fun one. Oprah, Cardi B, Adele. I'm drinking with... Oprah, uh, drinking with Cardi, smoking with Oprah, tripping with Adele. Huh. I, I want to get drunk with Adele. I want to get drunk with Adele uh, too, bro. Because she's she like, Adele's kind of so bad. Because uh, so she's pommy uh, as fuck. Yeah. And every time I hear an interview, she's just so pommy. And I reckon getting on the piss with her would be yep. Actually, you're not wrong. Yep. Every Honestly, watch any of her like talking on stage where she's like smoking and drinking. It's funny as fuck. And then what, you're smoking with Cardi? 
Uh, uh, yeah, I'll smoke with Cardi. I think, be, I think Cardi cool would be, yeah. I think, I think you actually got the... Uh, and then have a trip with Oprah? Yeah, it'd be funny. The trip with Oprah would be fun because she's had... You get a bad trip. You get a bad trip. <laughs> she's had a good life. We'd be able to talk about that shit. That'd be sick. Yeah. I also think she'd like let out like a bunch of secrets. But I do yeah. think I do think big time drinking with Adele would be fun. Mm. That would be fucking fun. She would be fun. I, th- I think so. I think you, I think you hit the nail on the head with that one, Harry. Boom. All right. Last one. Um, bit of a weird one. Let's go Santa, Two Fairy, Easter Bunny. Hmm. I get on the sesh with the Easter Bunny because I get to eat his chocolate after. I didn't think about that. That's cool. Um, I get on the trip with Santa because we'll get to go fucking riding his sleigh and shit because that shit's self-driven by the reindeers. And I'd have a sesh with the no, Tooth you Fairy. you Bender with Tooth Fairy. Bender with the Tooth Fairy. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get drunk I'd Bender with, with the Tooth Fairy. I think Bender with the Tooth Fairy would be good because like you... Bendering with a girl's different, you know? Just <laughs> funner. Why do you assume Why that? do you assume it's a girl? Nah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Wait, I always thought it was a dude. What? Yeah. Really? No, I always thought the Tooth Fairy was a girl. I always thought it was a dude. I thought she was a baddie. You what? thought it was a guy? Yeah, I saw that one movie, The Rock, and I just assumed that they were you all dudes. You just saw The Rock, just rocking around. Yeah, I just thought, <laughs> I just thought all of them, they all looked like The Rock. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, well, now- No. Yeah, I just assumed it was a dude. What was your answer there? Um, yeah, I'm getting drunk with Sansa because it'd be a fucking vibe. He's, you know, like when you get he like- He is very happy. You know, like old white dudes when they get drunk and they get a little racist, but it's funny. Yeah. Like that's what I think Santa is like. True. He's like, what countries don't you like to visit every year type vibe? Yeah, yeah. Um, getting high with the bunny and um, tripping with tooth two fairy. No, nice. tripping with tooth two fairy. How weird is a tooth fairy? Have you got Netflix on your phone? Yes. Can I see it real quick? It's scary, but oh, okay. keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, what? Uh, why is the tooth fairy scary? Just oh. the the idea of the tooth fairy, you know? Yeah. Like they come into your house. But and Santa they, does that too. Yeah, but it's different because they give me something cool. But he's an old man. Yeah. What, bro? He's not a young woman. <laughs> I don't watch. Um, <laughs> no, but like the whole idea of like getting money for your teeth is just strange, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, no, nah, there's this horror movie I watched as a kid, and it's the only reason I don't watch horror movies. It's because like it was like a scary tooth fairy. Yeah. And, like it used to like come in when it was dark at night and rip out all your teeth and shit. Have you guys had the dream when like you rip out your teeth? Have you though? had the dream when you lose your teeth? No. no. Terrifying. What are you, what, what goes on in the head of your So bro? Maybe you shouldn't trip. No, 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 no. So losing it, dreaming about losing your teeth is like a thing of like money stress and like all this other stuff. You right? Yeah. Thanks. What'd you do? No, I just needed something. Okay. But like having like a money stress, like it's like having a money stress and like worry about finance and stuff. Mm. That's when you like dream about losing your teeth. But it's so weird because it feels so real. Yeah. And I grind my, my teeth in my sleep. Yeah. yeah so like yeah. I'm sitting there like, grinding my teeth and then my teeth start falling out of my dream and I'm like ripping my tooth out. It's so strange. I hate I, it. I, I hate realistic dreams. Like I hate the ones where you think you're falling and then you wake up yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah, that, that, that to me is- Did I ever tell you about when I was on um, the medication that helped me quit smoking back in the day? It, uh, fuck, I forgot the name of it. But it was medication that helped you quit smoking and you got really wild dreams off it. Like, super crazy realistic dream to the point where for about three months i didn't know if i was dreaming or if i was awake like it was super weird yeah. the first night i took it i went to bed and i had a dream that i fell off i was working in construction at the time i fell off the top story of a building yeah. and i was fully falling like felt so real like the whole thing was so legit and you know when you hit the ground you fuck, wake up yeah. bro i literally hit the ground and didn't wake up uh. and I was, such a weird feeling because like you hit the ground you think you're dead but then you're not dead. Yeah. And it was, dude, fucked. it was, and I just, I was nah. laying there and I couldn't move. No, nah, that sounds fucking fucked, terrifying. Yeah, yeah, that would be, that, that sounds fucked. Yeah. That sounds actually, that genuinely that sounds fucked. The worst dream of my life. That's, oh, that's bad. Yeah. That's yeah. actually really bad. Yeah, like, I, don't, I don't think I've had anything. Feeling, bad, feeling yeah. trapped, like, like you can't do nothing. Yeah. When you know it's not real. Yeah. That's fucked. Well, you get like sleep paralysis. That's yeah, scary. I haven't bro. had that. But yeah. Me that's neither. Scary. I always laugh at people that have had it. Nah, it's Cause so like, yo, bad. just move. It'd be, it'd be so bad. That's like, it's not how it what? works. <laughs> just move, dude. You wouldn't go up to the dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you would not do that, bro. Dude, Karen gets it all the time. It's funny as. Does he? Yeah. I want to talk to him about that. It's kind of scary. He used to get it heaps. And I used to laugh at him because I'm like, bro, just move. You are like, a shit friend. <laughs> <aren't> <laughs> I'm like, that's so embarrassing, bro. If it was your mate, yeah, I'd laugh. But uh, if it was some random person. It's even funnier. <laughs> um, all right. Well, wrap it up from there, boys. Yeah, yeah boys. Before up. we get out of here, give us your thing of the week. What have you loved? Talk to me. Uh, I like the dentist. 
Because my teeth are fine. They did a good job. I'm very they did a good job. You should be happy, man. I'm, very happy. I'm happy for you. That was this is like six years in the making. I'm very happy. I'm happy for you, bro. Hundred so, percent. Shout out to a dentist. Actually, and I, it wasn't that bad. I was terrified. It wasn't that bad. It didn't hurt that bad. Something. And you think you're gonna last on an island by yourself? Yeah. No. I can't. You're terrified no. about bro, random I things, know. bro. But like, who? Wait, who's every camp trip? Who's one fucking there ready to go? Brandon. Yeah. And then I'm there next to him. No, no, no. There's but, there's you don't <laughs> but there's people around, and all we do is yeah, get no. drunk. Yeah. Like you're not exactly like, impressing give me, me. Give me a con. Like, <laughs> good. Um, this week. Oh, today actually, I was watching this new. Do- not. I don't know if it's new, but there's new seasons on it. It's um Netflix documentary Catching Killers. Fucking insane, dude. Yeah. Like it is. Like, bro, some of the things people do. It's cooked. Is sh- like imagine like what 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 would probably be like what. What would probably be something you would think is bad to do? Like torturing someone? Like really? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like catching, torturing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, but like people do this here. Like serial killers do this, but like it's like next level, bro. Mm. Like Some it's fuck story. Like there, there. next fucking level, dude. Like, and it's just like in your wildest dreams, you could not, like if you put yourself in that situation, bro, I'd be like, bro, how the fuck? Like what goes through your head for you to think that- Psychos, bro. Doing that, you know what I mean? Like that's- it's. But oh, bro. You know, in um, Stafford Heights, like a couple of days ago, there was two women kidnapped, dro- drove down to the Gold Coast, and then they were sleeping in the car or something like that, and the two women escaped the car while they were sleeping, went to police, the police went and found the car, and there was like a bunch of like torture equipment in the boot, like proper torture equipment. What, they were getting ready to torture these girls? The girls. So the, these two but guys- the, the dudes fell asleep in the car. The two, yeah, two guys kidnapped the, these two girls like in a van or something like that, drove to like somewhere in the Gold Coast because they were like, they drugged them or whatever. And then they went and stayed at the house or at an apartment or whatever they were doing. Oh, and then they left the girls. And the then van. the girls escaped from the van yeah. like at like one o'clock in the morning. And then the people came back and like obviously arrested the people, but yeah. they had like a bunch of like torture devices. Yeah, that's crazy. So they're gonna take a middle of the bum fucking torture them for hours. Yeah. Fucking. I insane. don't understand that, bro. Like I it's, really it's, don't. It's I, a mental end. Yeah, it's yeah. Disgusting. I just. Oh, bro. If you're just, born, yeah. That's fucked, man. So Aaron's thing of the wink is sad. Okay, which one? Torture. <laughs> well, it's not sad. It's just, it's just, it's just interesting. It, like, it's yeah. not sad. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's, um, it's sad. Yeah, no, mine's yeah. a show too. Uh, season two of The Bear just came out. Yeah. Insanely good. Best show on television. Probably my favorite show ever. What's it about? It's the most realistic, like, um, it's like a drama, but they run a restaurant and it is like anxiety inducing. It feels so real. It's dope. They should make a fucking, they should make a documentary about running a restaurant, bro. That shit's insane. I think they, there's a bunch. I think it's called Chef's. No, 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 like a really, (laughs) (laughs) that's funny, bro. I like Bob's Burgers. Funniest guy in the room. (laughs) But, um, Nah, yeah, I, 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 just a well done documentary. Like yeah. Gordon Ramsay's shit's just it's, it's, all, it's yeah. ent- entertaining to watch, but it doesn't teach you how what they actually do. It just shows you what they're doing wrong. It's not like what goes into mm. it, everything. Like it would be an interesting thing to do. I think so, hundred uh, percent. Well, well, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, find us on Instagram and all that. Ask us some comments below of what you want to see next week. Um, I think we're going to get back into getting some guests in soon as well, which should be good. So if you have any recommendations on who you want to see, let us know. Um, besides that, thank you guys very much for watching and peace out. Have I told you guys, uh, before we go, have I told you guys- um, <laughs> My life. I thought that was a great uh, outro too. No, it was, a great, it was a great outro. Have I told you guys what would be a good name for an Indian lesbian? <laughs> Please tell me. Minjita. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies.